The seven step model is a framework based on recommendation two of the EEF guidance on metacognition and self-regulation. It's a framework that supports you in delivering new concepts and skills to your pupils. It is about the level of scaffold that you provide for your pupils in their learning and how you then remove, gradually remove that scaffold to the point of independence. One aspect of the seven steps that's really embedded into my practice is activating prior knowledge. As a school, we've really carefully considered our curriculum and planned it so that it builds on the pupils' prior knowledge and enables us to build in opportunities for retrieval of knowledge. By asking the pupils questions, it helps them to make linked links to the knowledge and strategies that might help them within the lesson. Another step which I've embedded across the curriculum is modelling. Pupils need methods and strategies modelled clearly to them so that they're able to have a go for themselves. For example, when getting children to look for evidence in a text, I would use a think aloud to model the, the steps really clearly so the children know exactly how they can be successful. So for example, I might do, say, I need to read the question carefully and underline the key words. So the question's asking me, how do I know that the character is happy? Oh, I'm going to underline the word happy so I know I'm really clear what I'm looking for. Watch me now as I skim and scan the text really carefully to find any evidence. Ah, I can see the word cheerful. I know that that word means happy. So there's a piece of evidence that answers my question. By explicitly modelling and talking through those steps with the children, it allows them to be more, more successful at the point of independence. Throughout the um, seven steps, I look for opportunities to allow my pupils to be metacognitive. I do this by asking them questions so that they can plan, monitor and evaluate their learning. So, for example, at the beginning of a maths lesson, when I introduce a problem, I might say, have we seen a problem like this before? What strategies have you used in the past that have helped you to be successful? And then whilst they're working independently, I might go around and monitor their um, progress by asking them questions like, is your strategy working? If not, what else could you try? And this allows them to build on their prior knowledge and help them to be more successful independently. And I think that by carefully implementing the seven steps and really considering them in your teaching and, and delivery of lessons, I've noticed in my own practice that my pupils are more confident at the point of independence and this continued success gives them the motivation to learn.